next uh, video is on coolant reservoir tanks and making sure that uh, they're working properly and you're not getting a false reading which is uh, what happened to me um, I had my tank uh, it's clean now and we're gonna go back in time and you can see what I did to uh, get it clean and to repair it but before I had the coolant level but I thought was at the full mark there wasn't taking the cap off I'm being kind of negligent uh, someone borrowed this car and overheated in so I've had a series of problems ever since then but it really kind of stemmed from just looking at that and, and thinking well it's got coolant so it's fine meanwhile I had a slight radiator leak that was gradually draining the radiator and you know looking at this it looked perfectly fine and like I had plenty of uh, coolant so uh, anyway let's go back in time and you can kind of see what I had to do to uh, resolve the problem that I was having Hello, today I'm going to be cleaning a coolant reservoir. This is for a 2002 Toyota Camry V6 3.0 and uh, notice that it's not working like it should. Um, there is no hose on it and so it's staying at the same level. Uh, so to remove it I'm going to just leave the cap off. Over here on the side there's some slots. I'm just going to pull it straight up like that. And we're going to empty this out. All right, I'm going to clean this out. You can see that the hose has fell off, so I'm going to try to fish that out. And there's the black it's like a grommet that goes on on the hose and I have to get that out as well so this will go on the end of the hose there's the hole in the hose it's the same on, on both ends and then here's that uh, piece that goes in the hose and you can see how big it is around and how small the hole is so uh, it's going to take up a couple of hands here I've got some soapy water uh, just kind of to lubricate it a little bit here can wasn't easy to do So now let's move on and clean the reservoir. Dishwashing detergent. And I'm going to uh, put some in there. Add a little water. So uh, I'm just going to take the hose off here. And we're just going to do that number for a while. We have to do it a couple of times. Alright, back to the cap, back to the tube here. So I'm just going to slide the tube all the way on there. It's really snug now and it should stay on. Now the canister reservoir here, much cleaner than it was. Um, I could get it, get it even cleaner if I wanted to, maybe let that uh, soap sit in there for a while, but I'm kind of in a hurry here, so uh, I think it's pretty good, pretty good for what we're doing here, what we need. Just 
this out of the way for a second. We're going to put the uh, canister back in through the slots here. Maybe you can see that. It just locks in place. And we're able to just put the cap back on. It's nice and secure now. Should work out. All we need to do is just put our coolant in there. Hope it's been helpful today. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, have a great day out there. Take care.